Hey everybody, David here with CustomPC48809.com. Today I'm going to do an unboxing and review of the Frisbee MSK-814VR stereo headset. I'm going to give you the overall description of this item and I'm going to unbox it and show you the design. Well, this stylish headset offers good looks, great value, and performance with high bass built-in feature. This is a very cost-effective solution for home users, teachers, and students, business professionals, and travelers. You can immerse yourself in your favorite game or multimedia content, or get communicating using VoIP, chat, or instant messaging. The dynamic stereo headphones create superior audio performance with full, well-defined high bass. A noise-canceling headphone adds clarity and optimal isolations from ambient noises. This lightweight economic design incorporates an adjustable pad, headband, and leather ear pads to enhance user comfort during extended listening. An inline volume control is included for convenience. Quality materials and rugged construction provide durability and it also comes with a one year warranty to ensure satisfaction. This device is an easy plug in and play communicating communication device using the standard 3.5 millimeter stereo plug. This headphones are designed to work with any stereo audio source and may be connected to any desktop or laptop, PC or Mac. It is compatible with all operating systems. The device may also be connected using your CD player, DVD, MP3, PDA, radio, TV or gaming system. Stereo devices with a 2.5 millimeter or point Two five zero jacks may be connected using an adapter. This product is compatible with VoIPs, PC telephones, chat, and instant messaging services, including AOL, iChat, Jabber, MSN, Skype, Yahoo, etc. So anyway, if we can get started right here, I'd like to show you a little bit about this. It's a very nice little headset. I found this one here. It was very affordable on eBay for 12 US dollars. Free shipping, of course. And I designed this one here because I've been having problems with my headsets breaking on me because of cheap plastics and stuff like that. Well, this one here, you know, looked pretty good for what it had. It has an aluminum band going across the top here to help secure the pieces together. And well, it doesn't have much of a packaging to it, so it's not much of an unboxing, but it's a good review. So it has a, see from the descriptions here, I'm not sure, I'm not sure how well you guys can actually see that. I could probably get you that up here later. But it does have a maximum power input of uh, 100 milliwatts. Not much, but uh, it's definitely compatible with most standard stuff, as long as you don't want to turn it up too loud. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and open this up here, and we'll take a look at the design here and see how it really looks simple little thing here. I think it just slides right off. Oh yeah, real simple. Eh, not much to it, just a little piece of paper. Alright, see so we got in the box here, of course the headphones here, we can, it comes with the, the rest of it here. That just a little plastic shell, cheap of course. Alright, well let's see here. I'm going to take this, these out here. You got the adapters. Let's set this down. We got a little book here. Basically, tells you a little bit over over about it. Just tells you what each device is on the headset itself. Even tells you how to wear it. <laughs> All right. Well, I think everyone knows about this kind of stuff and how these are these work exactly. I'll set that aside over here. We don't really need that anymore. And of course, another outer shell we don't need. Well, okay. So let's see. One thing I definitely noticed about this whole design here is it has a rope design cable on it which is very nice to have because I'm pretty sure a lot of you have pulled on a cable and broke it out of the the plug here and the only thing they didn't do very well is wrap this up as you can see it's already coming apart on me and it's still <laughs> still wrapped up right here which I'm going to undo right now yeah it has a uh, oh I believe it's a seven foot cable Let's take a look. Yeah, it comes with the, let's see, the cable length here is about 7 foot 2 meters or so. And from the design here, it's about 9 ounces or so. Boom mic style um, microphone on here. 
nice little uh, filter as well. They seem to be, you know, fairly comfortable. They don't look like they'd be too bad. Anyway, um, well, a lot of pop guys are probably asking, you know, how well this is going to design. If you get a little rope here, it will actually help you not pull too far, which doesn't look like it goes far enough. Actually, I think that might have the wire going to the other side here. And actually, I think that's what that is. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what that was. So be careful with that. You can imagine not getting tugged down or pulled, and of course, you'll lose, lose your audio. Of course, the uh, the headset here is not too bad. It's very lightweight. It seems to be comfortable, but you see that the uh, head, the microphone here is on the left-hand side of the thing. So if you're left-handed or if you want to switch it around, I believe you can actually do that. So you can take it backwards, about, about as far as it goes here, and of course, over here as well. So it does probably about a, a 240-degree angle. Not too bad, but Okay, anyway, let's see, take this off. Oh, yeah. If I can just get that back on there now. The nice thing I like about this as well is that the, the microphone piece here is actually made out of metal. The, it's a rope snake like uh, adjuster, and it's actually made out of metal. It's not that's going to slow, you know bend or break on you too easily. You can actually bend it quite a bit as you can see here. But um, so I wasn't sure if this whole thing was made out of metal or plastic or not, but I can see from here these pieces here and here, oh, actually the rest of it here is basically plastic. But uh, see at first I thought it might, this might have been an open back, but it's not a fenced in. It's actually a closed back headphones. They do adjust a little bit. As you can see from the video here, they adjust a little bit. You don't want to go too far, I'll probably end up breaking that. So they, they do give a little bit of room to move, but not a whole lot. So they don't look like they'll be too bad. You know, for $12, you can't really beat it, especially if you're looking for something that's temporary or just something you could use. Well, the FCC sticker is still attached. That's always a good thing. Yeah, so it's not a bad little, bad little design here of the headphones themselves. Nice little foam padding inside there. These are actually fairly comfortable. <sighs> last headphones I've had, they're a little bit more softer and they don't last long. Anyway, the rope design here is fairly nice. It's going to be very durable. That's probably the strongest part, really, on this whole entire headset, to tell you the truth. You see, you have the inline volume control. Now the only thing that this one does not have, which would have been kind of nice, is I do not see a mic mute button on here or switch at all. It's just typical volume. That can always, you can always fix that yourself just by unplugging it or not a very good idea, but if you want something that has, I'm sure they have other models. But anyway, seven, seven feet here that's pretty pretty long. I don't even think I need that much. Now keep in mind this piece here is plastic. Um, I've always had issues with these as well. If you pull too hard it will just pull separate from here from the rest of it. Even this, this part here. And you can see obviously these are the 3.5 millimeter jacks. They do come with a little uh, protector over the end of that. Not really sure why you need it but they come with them anyway. But you got your Typical is the green and pink, which you can find easily on your computer or laptop. Sometimes they're not even colored anymore. But um, for being this little guy here, this is not too bad for twelve dollars. I'm gonna use it for Skype and other voice messaging thing, like maybe uh, Google Plus stuff like that. I needed a new one here. The one I'm using now is pretty bad, but it's, it's been around for a while. And one side of the headphones has already gone out. I try to rewire it, but the wires are so so sort so of thin in these things. Not very good. But anyway, this I give it some some tug, whatnot. You can see that has pretty good durability. I'm just really happy with the design of the rope-like material on here. It's it's really very nice. For the overall design, it, it's pretty good. I see that it's going to be it's going to be fairly durable. I have a big head, so it's going to probably adjust it all the way up. But you can see it, 
it's a big one. I actually, you know, twelve bucks. I'm not gonna worry about bending this back too far. See as far as it wants to go. But at least it's aluminum. It's not this cheap plastic. Now I can't guarantee how it's gonna end up right here on these little pieces. Now, these little pieces here are only plastic, only held by two little screws. And I can imagine them giving way at some point if you pull a reef too hard on these. But the nice thing about these as well, I've seen a lot of other headsets. You know, they'll come up with the other wire on each side of, like this one here. I have another one here, and that will just get in your way. It's nice to actually have one whole side dedicated, as long as you're careful with these wires. Right there, they're pretty thin. But these are also ro um, roped as well as like the rest of the cable, so I'm I'm hoping that that'll be more durability, and I'm hoping this will last better than normal plastic shielded cables would. But these little closed back little headphones, these, these are not too bad. Okay, so anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take about a week or so and test these headphones and microphone on here, see if they're worth. That was what they say they are. Um, so I'll get back to this video in about a week or so. And I will let you know exactly how I feel and what the pluses and negatives are. Okay. See you soon. Alright everyone, I've been, I'm back. I did my little test on these headphones here. And they're not too bad. I The only the couple of things I only had a problem with is the, uh, the length of this microphone that goes from the headset here to your mouth is a little shorter than I would want but overall it worked pretty well the the quality of the microphone is actually pretty darn good um, the the noise reduction is fair in my words I guess I'll say is fair it's not too bad I rate, would rate it probably as uh, 6 out of 10 um, but the, the noise canceling itself, I, I didn't see any problems with that. I don't think it actually really canceled anything out at all. Tried it on the Xbox, and uh, I found out that it doesn't really cut any of the background out at all. So it doesn't really cancel much of anything out, but uh, the, the quality of, of it was great. Everyone that I was talking to said I sounded wonderful with it. Now, the other thing, the other thing basically I was telling you about, it does not have a mute switch. For the microphone, that was a major turn down for me because um, every now and again, you know, if I have to sneeze, cough, or anything like that, I'll quickly turn it off, cough, then turn it back on. I don't want to cough in someone's ear or over their speakers. So basically, and now I have to do that manually over, you know, using a software like Skype and stuff like that. But overall, you know, those two issues there, it's not too bad. The it was very comfortable. The only problem I come across while wearing the headphones themselves was my ears got a little warm. Um, this ain't really leather, of course. It's some kind of cheap plastic material that will probably dissolve after five years, I'm sure. But uh, it was a little warm. It, it was actually comfortable overall. It was comfortable overall, but like I said, if you're wearing it for a period of time, it will start to get warm a little bit. Anyway, um, basically, if you guys have any questions or comments, you know, please leave them down, down below in the comment section there, and I'll try to answer them and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like this little review of these headphones. And if you know, if you guys would, it'd be really appreciated if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll try to get some more unboxings hopefully soon and also hopefully here soon we'll have a giveaway don't know yet but hopefully our community will like that and um, last time we had a pretty good giveaway so anyway um, thanks for watching the video everybody and I hope you enjoyed it take care